students uh, welcome back to the series on icc 10 biology where i'll be telling you from each chapter what to study followed by another video where i will give you the solutions to all the textbook questions so here we are, today we are taking up this chapter that is structure of chromosome cell cycle and cell division uh, first and foremost you should definitely know the definition of chromosome that is they are highly coiled and condensed chromatin fibers what is the word meaning of chromosome one mark question has come that is colored bodies other options will be given in the mcq please pick the correct one that is colored bodies next one is um, where and who uh, discovered it the larva of salamander the person's name you should know coming to chromatin uh, the question is define chromatin material or what percentage of dna is present histone is present you should know Moving ahead, who discovered the structure of DNA? Some of you end up writing the first name, Rosalind Franklin. It is not correct. He studied the molecule, but he could not come up with the structure. So, with who came up with the structure? Watson and Crick. Again, in 1953, they have written same year, 1953. In 1962, they got Nobel. Okay, next question is, um, why is DNA called as macromolecule? The reason why it's called Macromolecule is because it's a single molecule having a large nucleotide chain and then you have to explain what comes under nucleotide. So, a nucleo DNA is a polynucleotide in other words and it is composed of three things. What are they? Phosphate, sugar and nitrogenous bases. That much you should know for the two mark question. Uh, coming to nitrogenous bases, they will, from the structure of DNA, what forms the ladder of the DNA? What forms the backbone of the DNA? All these are your regular questions. Um, ladder, nitrogenous base, the backbone, sugar and phosphate. Be very clear with it. Definitely there is a question for you in your board. Okay, coming back to um, the bonding between nitrogenous bases as you know a and t bonds together c and t bonds together with hydrogen bonds this is important hydrogen bond a and t double bond hydrogen double bond and g and c hydrogen triple bond what are histones and uh, also you get a question what are nucleosomes which are more um, more frequent what are nucleosomes or from your progress check i'll tell you how the question comes as well Okay, so nucleus of uh, um, eight histone ball-like structure on which DNA is wound around. That is nucleosome. Every time they ask all these questions repeated once. Uh, then next question is what are centromeres? Some of you end up writing the center of the chromosome. It is incorrect. It is not all the time in the center. Centromere is the point of attachment of Two sister chromatids, please write that correctly for one mark. Function of it is, uh, first of all, it acts as a point of attachment. That itself is a function. Other than that, serves to attach spindle fibers during cell division. So, here you score again, two marks or one mark, depending on what the question is. A definition of gene again, multiple times they have asked. Moving ahead, this progress check, please put a star Write this answers down, put a star next to this because all these questions have come in one paper or the other in your board. So, um, be very thorough with all the answers. All these are not that um, repeated, so I'm skipping. Coming to this, I don't know whether how clear it is, but I hope you understand which page I am in. See this cell cycle. You have to know the cell cycle properly because a lot of questions, odd one outcomes. Logical sequence comes. All that comes from here. Okay. So, what is the sequence? First, there is in the cell cycle, it starts with G1, S, G2, followed by PMAT. What is PMAT? Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. This sequence you should know clearly. Okay. G1, S, G2, PMAT. Learn it like that. That's it. Your uh, logical sequence is covered. Then you should know what is G1, G, G, S, and G2. They form the preparatory phase called as the interphase. Why is it called resting phase is again a question. It's considered resting phase because, please don't write it rests. No, it is because it's a preparatory phase wherein no change in chromosome is visible. Therefore, it was called as resting phase before 
Now we call it as interface or the preparatory phase. Uh, moving ahead, what happens in G1, S and D2? S is our more important part here because S is where DNA is synthesized and chromosomes are duplicated. Underline it like with a highlighter or something. This is a question, 100%. Um, at G1 and G2, similar things are happening. That is, RNA and proteins are synthesized in G1 also, G2 also. So that they don't ask. Instead, they ask what happens in S phase, which is the DNA synthesis. Very, very important. Don't skip. Okay, moving ahead um, from here. Huh. This one. Differentiate between karyokinesis and cytokinesis. One more question used to come when there was a differentiate between with what was given in the bracket. That kind of question was there. But now also you can expect it in the two mark section. I hope all of you are clear with the pattern. If not, go back to that video and watch the pattern. pattern knowing the pattern is very important. Only then you can score well. Okay, coming to the division phase, which is prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, we call it as, I mean, I call it as PMAT for you to remember it. There is no um, acronym like that. We just came, it, uh, came up with it in school. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. All the phases, uh, what happens in each of the phases, I will uh, explain in a simpler way. You should know it as well. Types of cell division, mitosis, meiosis, differences there in the last part of the chapter. It's a table given, learn it up. Okay, coming to mitosis, question is, why is it called equational division? Important question, two mark. It's because in the daughter cell, please write it as such. In the daughter cells formed, the number of chromosomes remain same. That is why it's called as equational division. Write it as such. Yeah, coming to the division. Um, that is prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. There is a picture given in your textbook with comparison between animal and plant. I have marked certain points for you. Write this in both cases. Write this in both cases. Don't worry. Only one difference you will make in case of plant cell is the mentioning of centrosome should not be there. Because in, over here in plant cell, the centrosome which forms the centriole are absent. Asters are also absent. So, these points you will omit. Otherwise, you can write the same points for both. You will get marks. At your grade 10 ICC level, you don't have to go further and learn about it. All that you have to write, you can mark from here. Prophase, what are the important po points? First and foremost, chromosomes become distinct. A sister chromatids are attached to centromere. Spindle fibers appear. In both cases, you can write. Nuclear membrane and nucleolus disappear. Four points you write. If it is in a plant, you can uh, omit this first point. That is, centrioles start moving towards the poles. If it's an animal, write it. Okay, so that's it. Prophase is the only one where you have to write four points. Metaphase, you just have to write one, one single point. What is it? Chromosomes attached to the spindle uh, um, by its centromere. So, on the centromere, spindle will be stuck. All right. And they all line up in the equatorial plane. Now, here the type of question that used to come prior and you can expect also is that they will give you one of these phases. Let's say they'll give you metaphase and they'll ask you to identify it. So, how do you identify it? The moment you see all of them in a single plane, if you draw a line and then they are all there, you can find that some of them are slightly moved towards either sides. However, if you see all of them almost in a single line, that means it is metaphase. That's the first question you will get. Under that, there will be another question. Write what phase comes next and draw the diagram. So, you will have to draw this. You Please pick whenever you are learning for ICC 10 core. Please pick the diagrams of late phases. That is either late anaphase and late prophase. When I taught you this prophase, what points to write? I told you this points. I didn't say this points. I told you the points for late prophase. So, pick up the late prophase phase. So, from here... Late prophase, all these points you are writing. Don't write late. Just write prophase. Write all these points. Metaphase, on the plane, you, uh, all of them are lined up. And uh, centromeres are attached to spindle. That's it. Anaphase is easy. They all start moving towards both ends. So, what is the point? Centromere attaching to the two chrom chromatids divide. The centromere, which is in the uh, uh, th this point where both the sister chromatids are attaching, isn't it? They split and then start making the chromatids to move towards both poles. That's all there is. Next, in case of plant and uh, animal, there is slight difference when it comes to telophase. 
So in telophase, what do you, what all do you write? Two sets of chromosomes reach um, opposite poles. You can write spindle fibers disappear. Same thing you can write. Chromatids thin out in the form of chromatin fiber. All this you can write. Nuclear membrane and nucleoli reappear opposite of prophase. That also you can write. What is different? In cytokinesis, there is a difference. So sometimes you will have to end up writing under telophase itself this points. Okay. So what is the difference? In case of animal, they split into two in different way from plant. As you can see, see in animal there were uh, there was one cell which split it. It formed two different nuclei, everything. And then the division is starting from the outside to inside. Here, this curve you can see, this is called as the furrow. Furrow starts moving in and the other side's furrow starts moving in. And then they split into two. That is an animal. So first point, uh, in animal cytokinesis, furrow is formed from periphery to the center. Periphery to the center. What in case of plant, it's the other way around. That is, there is no furrow formed. Instead, a cell plate is formed. Where is it formed? It's formed in the center. Then it starts moving towards the periphery. So, opposite movement. Center to periphery. So, this much you write, you get that two marks where they ask you to differentiate between cytokinesis in plant and animal. Again, repeated question. Okay, So, I'm emphasizing on that for that reason. Moving ahead, this table, obviously you have to study what is the difference between plant and animal, which I already discussed right now. Significance of mitosis, ECPC, repair, replacement, growth, asexual reproduction, and then number of chromosomes remain same. Meiosis, why is it called reductional division? Very important question. You should write, it is because the number of chromosomes in the daughter cells that are formed, in the four daughter cells that are formed, is half the number of chromosomes as the parent. The statement you write, you get that two marks. Okay, where is it found? It's found usually in the gametes. Formation of gametes. These um, kind of division is seen. Significance, you have to write two points. I have written the second point down for you. First point is chromosome is halved. That's fine. Second point is that due to mixing up of genes, variation is caused. Okay. May cause variation due to mixing of genes. That's your second point. Please write that. Because many children miss that out and I've seen uh, them losing marks. Please don't. All right. What is crossing over is a one mark question that you may, may get. They may ask you what is chiasma as well. These are the exchange structures that are formed during not division. So, again, I told you, this table you have to learn up. Definitely, you have to learn up. I have marked a few things which are more important than the other. So, these are the important things to study from this chapter. Next video, will I will be solving all the textbook questions. So, if you find this video useful, please like it. Please subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.